All right, Pisces. Let's do a reading for the sign of Pisces, Holy Spirit, angels, and guides, God, universe, ancestors, and the highest of the most high. You are welcome into this reading. For the sign of Pisces, today is May 18th, 2023. Let's see what messages we have for you today, Pisces. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North. No. We got the Astro House of Happiness busting out. Some of you guys are feeling free, liberated, okay? Feeling happy, feeling joy in your life, or you're about to. Yeah. <laughs> I just heard flying above the bullshit. <laughs> okay. Uh, boot. Increase your efforts if you want to achieve your goals. All right. And you have the claw. Be careful. Don't take any risks. This came out, I think, yesterday. Um, on the boot. The claw and the boot. You may be telling someone, get to step in. <laughs> get to step in. All right. Three more. For, for someone here, you are someone's goal. Um... And you may be telling someone else, like, get, uh, either get to step in or increase your efforts if you want, you know, whatever this is. <clears throat> or this is spirit telling you this. Take it as it resonates, guys. All right. So we've got the throne, a position of authority, enlightening, control your anger, you will be sorry. Well, this is some wishy-washy energy. What is going on here? All right. Control your anger, you will be sorry. Huh. And the hammock, taking a vacation either physically or mentally in time to get out of a situation with the pail on the bottom of the deck. All right, so let's see. Be careful. Do not take any risks. Why is it showing up today in Pisces? Spirit? Be careful. Do not take any risks. Just seeing the sun card again and the lover's card. So some of you guys have a choice here to be happy, to, to liberate yourself from a situation. Um, Spirit is saying, be careful. Don't take any risks. Like There could be something that... It's like a choice. With the lover's card, it's a choice. Um, temperance on the bottom. Yeah, it's like you have a choice to drop these burdens. Okay, be careful. Do not take any risks. The nine of cups in the reverse. Wow. Yeah, it's like you have a choice here to be happy again, but the Nine of Cups in the reverse can talk about shattered dreams, unhappiness, devastation, okay, lack of fulfillment. So I'm getting you strongly have a choice here. Choose wisely, okay? The Claw, be careful, do not take any risks. The Hermit, follow your internal guidance, follow yourself, the Death card, Scorpio, Virgo, Two of Swords. You may feel like you're at a crossroads here, uh, Pisces. Death card. There is some type of a major change, transformation going through, going, going through, going about, coming about. Some type of a new beginning, an ending, letting go. I feel like you have a choice here to walk away from a situation that's causing you some sense of unhappiness or lack of wish fulfillment. Something here is at a stalemate. Some Something here, you know, I don't know if you're feeling undecisive or you're ignoring the truth of a situation or you've got your blind blinders on or whatever this is. But there's a major change here with the death card. Be careful, do not take any risks. Don't wit don't don't whisk your own happiness, Pisces. Okay? Don't whisk it. Are we out of Mercury retrograde? I think we are, but all right. <clears throat> you may be trying to reflect on some things, maybe some things that you feel like you can't see clearly. Four of Pentacles and Nine of Swords. You may have an air sign or someone coming towards you, Aquarius Super Gemini, someone coming towards you trying to hold on to a situation or you could be holding on to some some something 
And there's a need to make make a decision. Okay, make your mind up. Be decisive, focused, driven. Like, don't ride the fence, two of swords. Um, yeah, something here needs to end. I don't know what this is really pertaining to about. And for all of you guys, obviously, it could be different. But um, I feel like there's something here that you're holding on to and you're, you're the hermit energy out here. It's like your higher self is trying to guide you, you know, trying to show you the light, trying, you know, you may be, but the two of swords in the hermit as well, there may be a sense of like uh, withdrawing, okay, ignoring, pretending that you don't see something or just staying to yourself kind of in hermit mode or, you know, this is kind of like. You know, but I don't feel like this is bad. I feel like this is you kind of like pulling your energy back for pentacles and the hermit. That's like pulling your energy back. It's a pretty view. Pulling your energy back in order to reflect on a situation that you feel unclear about or that you may be needing to make a choice or a decision, but you may feel like you don't have all the facts. So it's like um, for some of you guys, you could be waiting on some type of truth. Um Yeah, the Nine of Swords. Some of you guys could be waiting on some type of truth to make a decision. But honestly, I feel like you're the one that has the choice. Like, you're the one that, the death card, it's like, um, Nine of Cups in the reverse can talk about, you know, selfishism. Um, um, it can talk about shattered dreams lack of getting what you want, feeling like you're not receiving what you need emotionally from a situation. Don't go back. What do you call that? Don't lower your standards. Okay. So this is like, if you find yourself like, mm, I don't know if I want to go back to my past or to this past job. I don't see work here, but this has something to do with like something that already hasn't turned out the way you imagined or you were hoping or you were wishing you ultimately have the power to end a situation change a situation transform the situation not deal with the situation ignore a situation uh ghost a situation whatever this is hold back make that decision don't take any risks when it comes to your freaking happiness all right pisces i'm moving on increase your efforts if you want to achieve your goals ace of wands wow so this could have to do with your your talent or starting something new like say if you've been thinking yeah three of pentacles if you've been thinking about starting some type of a new business a collaboration or working on something new starting a new project um you, you may have fear surrounding this ten of cups <clears throat> <laughs> going back to what I originally said in the beginning and to my intuitive message some of you guys may be telling someone here get to step okay let me just pull this up. some of you guys may be telling someone to get to step in all right increase your efforts if if and going back to what I was saying this little spread just kind of like clarifies that so it's like ace of wands four of swords someone may want to heal something have a new beginning a new passionate beginning work together in this family this Team environment, someone may want to work as a team in regards to a family. Someone may want to work on a family dynamic, start something new, heal a situation. You may have fears surrounding this, whatever this is. Um, or this may even give you anxiety. You may be um, you may be telling someone, like, increase your efforts, three of pentacles. Like, if you want this happy family, this marriage, this, you know, whatever this is, this happy home, Stability, security, emotional contentment, emotional security, whatever this is that you want. If you want this new beginning, you need to work for it. I do feel like there is some stress and anxiety or this is something like. Um, what is the four of swords here? The king of cups. Pisces, cancer, Scorpio and the world card. Hmm. 
Yeah, I feel like you're trying to use your intuition on whether something can be successful or if something should just end and something should just close. And I do feel like there is love here. But I see you in deep contemplation with this Four of Swords. For others of you, if you guys are desiring to start something new and it has something to do with like your creative, your creative skills, talents, abilities, whatever this is, something new. If you're kind of fearful of this or you've been like stalling or delaying something, um, there's a need to increase your effort or reach out to others for assistance if you want to achieve this. Ten of Cups, which, you know, doesn't have to be family or marriage. This could just be your own emotional happiness. If you want to be emotionally content, you need you may need to work together, or collaborate with others or reach out to others for assistance or whatever this is. But I feel like you're fearful of starting this. But this is actually something that will bring in a lot of happiness or a lot of, uh, again, emotional stability with the King of Cups and the, wor the world success. OK, this could be something to do with an online thing or may have to do with travel okay show me the throne why is the throne here for pisces ten of cups again and the five of pentacles oh damn the moon pisces cancer energy again trying to use your intuition see what is this about you may be sitting in a position of authority and you may be like with this Ten of Cups coming out sideways, I don't know, the moon also can talk about fear. Again, Five of Pentacles on whether or not to like leave a situation out in the cold to let something go. Um, you may feel like something here causes emotional, uh, how do we say this? Like Ten of Cups sideways. This is like, this may be, you know, okay, so this could talk about dysfunctional family dynamics in the reverse. This can talk about dysfunctional family dynamics. This could be uh unhappiness an unhappy home okay a broken home we do have the nine of cups in the reverse broken pro broken promises here so i don't know if there were some broken promises or some wishes that were made surrounding a family dynamic and they weren't achieved or um what do you call it false promises um either way i feel like there's something here that causes you to have some type of negative thoughts causes your subconscious, okay, something here in your subconscious makes you feel abandoned, makes you feel neglected, makes you feel left out in the cold, makes you feel depleted. Something here within this, and you may be sitting in a position of authority, so you're trying to use your intuition, like, do I want to work on this, or do I just want to let this shit go? Like, emperor on the bottom, that position of authority, it's like things could be really taking off for you in a positive direction right now. You may have a lot of things coming at you, a lot of responsibilities. Okay, the three of swords, yeah, and the high priestess. So I don't know if there was a secret, like, <clears throat> if this is love, okay, there could have been, you could have been the side piece, you could have been the mistress, there could have been a third party here that was a secret, okay, that caused some type of heartbreak, um, or this is what you fear. There could be lack of trust, dishonesty, broken dreams, broken promises, uh, fear, anxiety, um, separation, sadness. This could have been caused by someone else, another Pisces or a Cancer. Or this could be how you feel in this situation. Um, and you may be sitting in a position of authority or you may have the upper hand in a situation here. Pisces. So like I was saying over here, it's like you have the choice. Do you go back to something where you've already felt? Um, I don't even want to say go back because this could be something that's like currently going on. Like you may be evaluating a situation like, can this be worked out? It's, and I'm not telling anybody to go leave a situation. Okay. You guys have your own discernment to do whatever you want. We do have the pail on the bottom of the deck. It's time to get out of a situation. So some of you guys may be contemplating like, I'm not getting what I want here. I, there's lack of trust. There's dishonesty. There's heartbreak. There's, I don't feel, I feel depleted. There's a lot of negative thoughts surrounding this family dynamic connection, this, this home, this, whatever the heck it is. I have fears. Okay. And there's a lot of intuition being used at this time, or you may be sitting in a position of authority. Um, cause I feel like, you know, more than what you're saying. You could be not speaking at this time as well. You may be keeping this heartbreak, this these feelings to yourself. 
but this may be something that's going on subconsciously, like in your mind, and your soul, okay? Control your anger, you will be sorry. Yeah, some, some of you guys, and that's, that's another thing, okay? With this high priestess, three swords, five of pentacles, and this moon, and this five, or this ten of cups sideways, this is like in the throne with that emperor that we've seen. It's like you may be wanting to take charge of a situation, like realizing that something here doesn't, something here is making you feel some type of way, Pisces. And you may have been ignoring this, the hermit, you may have been keeping this to yourself. You may feel isolated. You may, the high priest is, so that could be where this control your anger, you will be sorry comes in. Because when you bottle all these emotions up, all these feelings, eventually you'll just pop off. Okay, I don't know. I'm done speaking about personality, personal situations because uh, people are just rude in the comments sometimes. But, um, and you know who you are. So anyways, if you bottle all this shit up and that's what it looks like, the high priestess doesn't speak, but she intuitively knows is someone who has a lot more hidden information, knowledge, wisdom, whatever inside, but they don't speak on it. They keep it to themselves. They know. And the, with the moon here too, it's like you're keeping it hidden. You're keeping it in. You're bottling it in. But this is like a lot of like negativity, negative thoughts, negative emotions, hurt, pain, okay, neglect, abandonment, all this like shit that's making you feel some type of way and you're keeping it to yourself. So with this throne here, you may be wanting to like step into this. You may be wanting to be like, look, motherfucker. <laughs> I'm not happy. <laughs> You make me feel like shit. So, <laughs> or whatever the case is, all right? But with this lightning, it's like, control your anger. You will be sorry. <laughs> Pisces, don't hold all this shit in too long because you may just snap someone's head off, all right? You may just be like, bam, strike like lightning. Just, just explode, tower, boom. Are you like that? <laughs> You're like, boom, bitch, I'm taking a vacation. Peace. <laughs> I'm going to my happy place. <laughs> All right, control, <laughs> Pisces, control your anger, all right, or you will be sorry. Maybe you should, you know, get some of this out, because whoever's energy I'm channeling right now, I could feel it, and I ain't unhappy, I'm happy, so this ain't me. Don't act like I'm projecting on any of you guys, like some of you guys like to, you know, but, and this isn't for most of you guys, I'm not like trying to attack, you know, I know who my loyal subscribers are, I know those of you guys that are genuine, and I also know those ones that just have a lot of like, their own shit going on in their life, and that's why I don't respond to you guys, because I'm not gonna, if you guys want to say some mean, rude shit, that's cool, go ahead, get it out, but, you know, I'm not gonna sit here and banter back and forth with you guys, um, we've all been there before. Taking, taking your shit out on someone else that doesn't deserve it type type thing, you know. <sighs> that felt good saying that. Anyways, um, yeah, I know who my loyal subscribers are, and I love you guys so much. And I know you guys don't ever take this personal. You guys just intake it or you dismiss it, you know, like you should with tarot. Because not every reading is personal. So those of you guys that do watch tarot and try to make it fit to your situation and then like, or there's one message I put out and you're like, well, your message is all over the place. It's not making any sense. Maybe it's not for you. I do read your comments and I know the last 10 messages you made apply to you. And now there's one that doesn't and you want to say I'm all over the place. No, you're all over the place. Calm down. Calm down. You need to calm down. You're being too loud. I'm going to get on with the reading. All right, control your anger or you will be sorry. I know I probably just pissed some people off, but really, I just try to give you guys positive energy. I try to do my best. I don't try to piss no one off, but I also don't like being... Uh, what's the right word? I don't even want to say attacked, but I don't like being... Um, as a reader, we read mm, lots of comments... And when you have these naysayers that want to like, eventually that shit gets to our subcon, you know, into our memory bank as well and affects us. So just, just understand 
If you're having a bad day, don't project that shit onto me because, you know. All right, control your anger, whoever. And this isn't even bad. Like, we all get angry at some things, you know? Some people piss people off. I may have pissed someone off just now. That's okay. All right, just just go and, uh, go and woo saw it out, okay? I don't know. So, the full card, temperance, uh, the four of cups, control your anger, you will be sorry. The temperance angel here um, talks about doing things in moderation, finding that inner peace, finding that balance. Um, the full card, it can talk about, you know, being free. That innocence, that carefree, that lighthearted energy, just like, la -da 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 -da, you know. <laughs> finding that inner peace. That's funny. Um, the Four of Cups and what else? Ooh, Queen of Cups in the reverse. Control your anger, you will be sorry. Yeah. Pisces, this could be you. The Queen of Cups in the reverse, this could be you. Yo, don't, we have a King of Cups out here too. Hmm, <laughs> that's funny. Increase your efforts if you want to achieve your goals. And the you may be telling your, your divine masculine, okay? And when I, I shouldn't even say that, but... Uh, this is like a soulmate. This is, you know, this could be another water sign. Water sign to water sign doesn't have to be. Or this could be your baby father, baby mama. This could be um, someone who you love. You have a lot of love and emotions for. Or this person has a lot of love and emotion for you. But with this Queen of Cups in the reverse, this is talks about, you know, like I was saying earlier, emotional immaturity, insecurity, lack of trust, and lacking direction. With this Four of Cups, it's like whoever this Queen of Cups is, she may be feeling, you know, distrusting. Or someone may even distrust this woman. I don't know. But um, no, Pisces, I feel like this woman is you. And though, you know, you could be a masculine and more feminine energy. So flip it, switch it. Tarot has no gender. I mean, it has energy. But with this high priestess and this three swords, Pisces, this is your energy. The moon is your energy. So I strongly feel like you're the one that's feeling heartbroken, feeling asked out, feeling left out in the cold, feeling like something here is unhappy or you're not receiving what you need or something's dysfunctional or there's some type of broken promises, broken dreams within a family or home or something or with the soulmate connection or someone who you have a lot of love for. If you don't have a family, you just there's a lot of love here. You feel like this, this is your person. Okay, Even if this isn't your person, you may feel like it's your person. Because why? Because this is energy. Okay? However, uh, this temperance angel, you could be someone who's very, very peaceful, very tranquil, okay, with this um, full card temperance, Sagittarius, Aries, you may have that in your chart, but something here has you feeling emotionally off balance, like you may be feeling like, damn, I wish I, or, you know, four cups could talk about regret, it's like, damn, I regret even, like, entertaining this, or I regret whatever fuck it you may even have some regrets if you're the one that caused some type of heartbreak but ultimately i feel like this is you feeling this way feeling emotionally off balance feeling lack of love feeling like you can't trust something feeling rejected feeling you know like a sense of apathy or regret feeling bored discontent okay and you're probably this normally this you know full card and this temperance card, or this is what you want. You may be thinking like, yo, I just want to start something new. Temperance, where I can be at peace. Like, I just want to be happy, carefree, lighthearted. Buddy, buddy, da, just like little Pisces are, you know, just like. Not saying that all of you guys are, you know, we have our moments, all right? Doesn't matter. We can all carry different energies at different times. But ultimately, when a Pisces is happy, we are very la di da di da okay? <laughs> we are very carefree, carefree, lighthearted, you know, peaceful people until we get triggered or until we get hurt or until we get broken or whatever the fuck you guys want to call it. But, you know, everybody can carry different emotions, but our, our reset button, boom, reset is typically like this full temperance energy. It's kind of like that. All right, I'm done. All right, control your anger. You will be sorry. You may be thinking about just starting something new. Because something here, you may lack trust, you may be feeling discontent, something may have you all over the place emotionally, okay? Taking a vacation, you may be thinking about taking a vacation with this full card and this temperance, like just bouncing, just like, fuck it, I'm going over here somewhere by water, somewhere where it's peaceful, somewhere where I can collect my thoughts. 
Yeah, because you got a maybe and a yes card. So this is like you may be thinking about this and spirit may be advising this. Taking, okay, so then we get the hammock. Taking a vacation either physically or mentally. The sun card, what was I saying? You may be thinking about going somewhere by water or where it's sunny or somewhere where it's happy. Somewhere that brings you happiness, joy, going on a vacation, maybe somewhere where it's warm. The sun card talks about positivity, fun, freedom, you know, optimism, happiness, hammock, taking a vacation physically or mentally, Leo energy, okay. Some of you guys could be thinking about going camping. Okay, the three of cups, you may be getting together with friends. We got the towers, whoa, the tower and the... Uh, Eight of Swords, Scorpio energy. So some of you guys may be thinking about going somewhere with friends or going to a get-together, a gathering. Now the Tower and the Eight of Swords. Hmm. Scorpio. Some of you guys could be linking up with the Leo. Ooh, tower on the bottom again. Some of you guys could be feeling stuck with the Scorpio or um, you know the tower is not always bad. It's like something that happens suddenly. It's unexpectedly. So I don't know if this is something unexpected that you're doing but why is the Eight of Swords here? Because this can talk about like feelings of being trapped or restricted or backed into a corner. So some of you guys may be feeling restricted by your work or by your schedule. You may need to plan something out. So, okay. So if you guys are thinking about like, maybe that's why they got control of your anger. You will be sorry. Okay. So some of you guys could literally be feeling like your work is restricting you. Um, don't get, that's why lightning is here. Don't get so upset and let something bottle up that you just like, bounce and sabotage a work situation like you just like oh yeah boss you're not going to give me the time off well I'm going anyway and then you come back and you don't got a job or some shit like don't don't pop your breaker okay <laughs> pop your breaker <laughs> shit you got lightning here twice though like some of you guys may be feeling like extremely like Oh my gosh, I can feel this energy. Like some of you just may be feeling like, cons like, com Ugh, spit it out. Some of you, whoever I'm picking up on, you feel like Pisces are not meant to be trapped people. Okay. We are meant to be free. Like I was saying, like the full card in that temperance card, you are meant to be free. Pisces, we are fish. We can, we're meant to like roam. Okay. And when you try to put a fish in a box, that fish is eventually going to like bust their head so many times that they kill them. No, that's, that was a terrible analogy. Anyways, don't like, or you're going to jump out the box. Okay. Let's make it PG. All right. Um, yeah, you may pop a breaker or something. Five swords. You may like, just like walk away or sabotage a situation or you're planning to do this or some of you may travel for work as well. Or maybe you get the opportunity to travel for work. Yeah, some of you guys, I feel like you feel like you work hard or you work, you know, three of wands can talk about hard work. They eat that sneeze. The eight of pentacles can talk about hard work as well. Concentration or maybe the, I don't know. There's something here that I feel like you need to plan out or like wait on. Make sure you got your pentacles in order. Don't sabotage something. Don't just walk away or do something that could, 
that you're later going to possibly regret. I feel like someone here strongly wants like this happiness, this sun, this freeing energy. And somebody may be feeling restricted. They may just be like, I got to go. Like, I got to go. Like, I can't do this anymore. I feel stuck. I feel trapped. I feel un unhappy. Show me this King of Cups out here. This, whoever you're dealing with, this person is very intuitive as well. Page of Wands, yeah. This person's like this King of Cups is gonna be taking action, sending you some type of a message. This could be a father figure. I don't know. Seven of Swords. You got two pages out here. I don't know if someone lied about children. Someone lied about messages. Someone lied about something. Or someone here is trying to find some sneaky, sly way to come in and, like, offer you something small. Potentially something small. Um, or send some type of message. Take some type of action. But they, they may be doing something strategically. And I don't feel like you trust it. You don't trust this person. You may care for this person, but this person doesn't make you feel like you want to feel inside, period. And I feel like you may just be like letting the shit spill, letting the shit like, yeah, you also have hidden secrets can harm you. So I don't know. You do have this three swords out here, which gives me third party energy. I don't know if someone here abandoned you for their family or for some type of dysfunctional family or whatever the hell. And. Put you in a third party, broke your heart, lied about some side piece, kept you kept kept you a secret, kept someone else a secret, whatever the hell this BS is, there the trust is broken. So I'm gonna leave this reading here. If it resonates, let me know. 3232 on the clock, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.